not just looking at the beach, we're looking at right, everything in this area to make sure that we tie the beach to the road, to the ponds, to the watershed above. This project specifically was kicked out of 40 years of difference of opinion on what happens in this area. The genesis of this project, when we start looking at corridors in the communities that we serve, we know that we have people that work for us that live in those communities. But we don't do everything that everybody else does. We don't, we don't come to the beach to surf every day. We don't live the way everybody else does. So we want to make sure that we get into the communities to get more feedback. What we found is when we get feedback from communities, when we have community meetings, the same 10 people show up to speak for the community. Once we start working with the kids, everybody shows up. So we've been trying to work more to get into the communities through the schools to set up project-based learning opportunities with the kids to make sure we can learn from them and the community. So the GEAR grant is actually Governor's Innovation Education Grant. Uh, Ocean it brings is the technology component, but also the relevance through real world uh, clients of ours. So one of our most innovative clients is the State of Hawaii Department of Transportation Highways Division. What we were wanting to do is look at what real world project is out there where we could be working with DOT Highways and actually bring students into it. And this is where, uh, speaking to the Deputy Director Ed Sniffen and brainstorming with him is the work that started to happen out uh, towards Makaha Beach. We're very fortunate that through the Gear Grant in Pelina and uh, partner Brian Dote, and this project was to really connect with Waianae High School students through their alternative learning center. Like if you give high expectations to students, students are going to do high things. If you give them low expectations, they're going to do low things. It's not the students that fault, it's the opportunities. And like, we just need like an opportunity to showcase. And I think the DOT is giving us that opportunity. And like Ed Sniffen and them guys ask us a question. How can we improve the road in Makaha, yeah? That being said, there is no scope. There is no boundary to this. We want to see what the, the students can come up with from their perspective on what sh what's important to them, what's important to this community so we can start driving forward on improvements that we can make for them. I don't know, as many of you guys know, we only have one road. And it's not only for us, the community, yeah? A lot of people come to our beaches and use it. So they wanted to figure out how to improve it, right? And then that's when like Oceanet and like the government's innovation grants came in education, because they're like, well, let's research the beach, yeah? If we want to fix the road, we need to know, understand the whole ecosystem. So right now our kids are learning how to uh, manage and measure the coastal erosion of Makaha Beach, yeah? So we come every Friday, we measure the wood, uh, we measure um, the sea currents, what time, and we collect data, yeah? So we try to incorporate like all the technology, modern technology that Oceanet has given us, like drone use, like my kids is the first time flying drones. And so they're using all this technology compared with the culture knowledge. Cause some of my kids know way more than me, right? Right, they go here, they surf here, they fish here, they party here, this is their beach, and they're doing it for the state and for the islands. So the whole point is to collect data um, by the community for the community, right? So like, it's part of their science class too, but it's more than just science, yeah? It's more actual community work, yeah. It's inspiring that teachers would take their time and like plan something like this for us, like more hands-on, because it gets kids interested in coming to school. It keeps us wanting to come, because I hated school. <laughs> I, I really did, and because of programs like this and this program especially, I get to say I can graduate, and it just keeps me motivated to come. The students have a knowledge of their community that we as consultants or technologists from the outside do not have, right? And so, so the value of the student is really interesting. It, it, there's a lot of value that students bring to the table. And what we can do is bring the relevance of, of a real project to the table, right? And so now that they learn drones or how to take measurements in the water, maybe that will inspire them or spark them to look at, at careers around oceanography or coastal engineering or water quality or environmental. I found a new liking for the beach and for things that happen, I guess, environmentally. I wasn't so much fond of being outside. I'm more of an inside person. But doing this, it like opens your eyes to like so many things change in just a short amount of time. 
and being able to study it, you get to see the change. And it's just like, wow, I actually can say like, I've seen this change from what it was before. Everyone talks about how do you create the careers of the future? You do it by starting today with students and having them be exposed to these different projects, teaching them different skills. And in the, and in the process, they're actually creating uh, a new way of working, a new technique, a new process, a new way of seeing the world that is creating the career that doesn't exist today in DOT highways, but will in the next 10, 15, 20 years to come. That's where long-term this has huge impacts uh, for Hawaii and for our young people and for our environment. You know, you gotta start somewhere. And so we're starting at Makaha Beach with these Waianae High School students.